By now, most of us have heard the shelter in place guidelines, basically telling us to stay in our homes unless absolutely necessary. But what effect can that have on those with abusive family situations? Isolation has increased, fear has increased just about people's health and safety. This actually exacerbates it when someone's living with an abuser. Jan Lambing is the CEO of Genesis Women's Support Shelter in Dallas and is on the board of the Domestic Violence Hotline. We are on the front lines of responding to women and children who are victims of domestic violence. She says while sheltering in place is great to prevent the spread of COVID-19, it's increasing the intensity of abusive situations. We know that fear and isolation and manipulation are all dynamics of, of domestic violence. Here in the Brazos Valley, there hasn't been a real change in reports of family violence. Looking at the numbers, it doesn't appear that we've had a significant increase in domestic violence incidents. When you look at the exact numbers for March this year and March last year, the lines are about level. So we're not seeing a, a huge drastic change in numbers in either direction. With child abuse cases, we were up by two this year, just in the months of February and March. And while many would think there'd be more of a spike in calls to report abuse, Langbing says there's actually an opposite effect. Unfortunately, there aren't many opportunities in hotline calls. The abuser is right there at all times now because the sheltering at home is stay at home. But we're also seeing a reduction in opportunities to hold accountable the perpetrator. 911 call centers all across the country are absolutely inundated. Courts have gone dark, meaning they're not hearing trials that can offer protective orders and protection for victims of domestic violence. It's a scary situation, but even while social distancing, there's help. We can still do counseling uh, over the phone to talk about safety planning, talk about de-escalation, find the safest part in your house. For kids, there's the Be Safe app. The schools are used to that, and they share that information with us when it's necessary. It seems like the whole country is looking at a helpless, hopeless time, and for victims of domestic violence, it's even worse. But there really is help, and there is hope. We did reach out to a few other areas in the Brazos Valley. Some have not gotten back to us yet, and others like Huntsville say that they haven't had a change in the amount of family violence calls. To find all the resources mentioned in this story, just go to kxtv.com.